22 years ago, we began a joint venture between Microsoft, Sybase, and Ashton Tate. It was a launch that would forever change the landscape of management software. As Windows became increasingly successful, it would guide the path and developments of SQL Server. In 1993, SQL Server 4.21 was unveiled and, for the first time, designed with Windows graphical interface, changing the way administrators interacted with the software. Rich with revolutionary features, SQL Server 6.0 earned rave reviews from both end users and critics alike. With hardly a pause, we released SQL Server 6.5 with new internet and data warehousing features, innovations that raise the stakes in the DBMS space. The release of SQL Server 7.0 saw software that boasted flexible scalability and a revamped architecture. Breaking away from the established number system, we released SQL Server 2000. Having been completely rewritten for a modern database platform, it provided the foundation for the future. This was followed five years later by SQL Server 2005, which was critically acclaimed for delivering mission-critical features and easy-to-use manageability. Chock full of performance-enhancing features, we released SQL Server 2008. The SQL Server 2008 R2 version of the software, released two years later, pushed that innovation even further. Designed specifically for cloud storage, SQL Azure was debuted, which laid the foundation for any future version of the SQL Server family. And now, after over two decades of innovation, we are ready to unveil the new cloud-ready information platform. Go further, forward, faster, with Microsoft SQL Server 2012. See what's next with SQL Server 2012 at sqlserverlaunch.com.